Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about anti-differentiation by substitution of algebraic functions. Anti-differentiation is more challenging than differentiation. To find the derivative of a given function, there are well-established rules that we are always applicable to differentiable functions. For anti-differentiation, the antiderivatives given in the previous lesson may not suffice to integrate a given function. A prerequisite knowledge of the basic anti-differentiation formulas for some formulas are easily derived, but most of them need to be memorized. No hard and fast rules can be given as to which method applies in a given situation. For an instance, in college, several techniques such as integration by parts, partial fractions, trigonometric substitution will be introduced. This lesson focuses on the most basic technique, anti-differentiation by substitution, which is the inverse of the chain rule in differentiation. There are occasions when it is possible to perform a difficult piece of integration by first making a substitution. This has the effect of changing the variable and the integrand. Let g be a differentiable function and let the range of g be an interval i. If f is continuous on i and f is an antiderivative of f on i, then the indefinite integral of f of g of x, g prime of x with respect to x is equal to capital F of g of x plus the constant c. If u is equal to g of x such that du is equal to g prime of x with respect to x, then the indefinite integral of f of u with respect to u is equal to capital F of u plus the constant c. Suppose we are given an integral of the form f of g of x g prime of x with respect to x we can transform this into another form by changing the independent variable x to u using the substitution u be equal to g of x in this case du will be equal to g prime of x with respect to x and therefore the indefinite integral of f of u du will be equal to the capital F of u plus c. This change of variable is one of the most important tools available to us. This technique is called integration by substitution. It is often important to guess what will be the useful substitution. Usually, we make a substitution for a function whose derivative also occurs in the integrand. With this, let us take these some examples. For the first one, let us evaluate the indefinite integral of x plus 4 quantity raised to 5 with respect to x. For this case, let u be equal to x plus 4. Doing this, notice that when we get the derivative of x plus 4, we will have du will be equal to dx. Thus, by substitution, our given antiderivative of x plus 4 quantity raised to 5 dx will be equal to u raised to 5 du. Notice that we have substitute u to x plus 4 and du to dx. Since we have here u be equal to x plus 4 and du be equal to dx. From here, we can now apply the theorems of anti-differentiation. Since we have the antiderivative of u raised to 5 du, remember that this is equal to u raised to 6 divided by 6 plus the constant c. And thus, remember that u is actually equal to x plus 4. Therefore, substituting x plus 4 to u here we will have our final answer to be x plus 4 quantity raised to 6 all over 6 plus the constant c. Therefore, this is the indefinite integral of x plus 4 quantity raised to 5 with respect to x. 
Let us take another example. Evaluate the indefinite integral of x raised to 5 plus 2, quantity raised to 9, 5x raised to 4 with respect to x. Let u be equal to x raised to 5 plus 2. When we get the derivative of this expression, then du will be equal to 5x raised to 4 with respect to x. Thus, by substitution, the indefinite integral of our given will be equal to the indefinite integral of u raised to 9 du. Notice that x raised to 5 plus 2 is equal to u. So we will change this expression into u. So we will have here u raised to 9. Moreover, notice that the derivative of this expression is equal to 4x raised to 4 dx which is another part of our integrand. So this expression can be expressed as du. Thus, our new expression will be u raised to 9 du, where u is equal to x raised to 5 plus 2, and du is equal to 5x raised to 4 dx. From here, we can now apply the theorems of anti-differentiation. Applying the theorem, the indefinite integral of u raised to 9 du will be equal to u raised to 10 divided by 10 plus the constant c. And remember that u is equal to x raised to 5 plus 2. Thus, substituting this expression to our u, we will have the final answer x raised to 5 plus 2 quantity raised to 10 divided by 10 plus the constant c. Third example. Evaluate the indefinite integral of x raised to 2 divided by the square root of 1 plus x cubed with respect to x. Here, let u be equal to 1 plus x cubed. Getting the derivative of this expression, we will have du is equal to 3x squared dx. Looking at the relationship of u and du on our given, Notice that from here, we can divide both sides by 3. So, x squared dx will be equal to du over 3 or 1 third du. Notice that this expression is on our given. Therefore, by substitution, the given can be expressed as the indefinite integral of 1 over square root of 1 plus x cubed x squared dx. So notice that we have written x squared on the side of dx. Remember that this is u and this is one third du. Therefore, we will have the indefinite integral 1 over square root of u times one third du, where u is equal to 1 plus x cubed and x squared dx is equal to one third du. From here, we can now apply the theorems of anti-differentiation. Remember that we have expressed our given to be the indefinite integral of 1 over square root of u times 1 third du. And since 1 third is a constant, according to a theorem, it will become a multiplier of our indefinite integral. So we will have 1 third times the indefinite integral of 1 over square root of u with respect to u. Rewriting 1 over square root of u, we will have the indefinite integral of u raised to negative 1 half. Then, simplifying it, we will have 1 third times u raised to 1 half divided by 1 half plus c. Multiplying 1 third and the reciprocal of 1 half, we will get 2 square root of u all over 3 plus c. Now, remember that u is equal to 1 plus x cubed, so therefore, our final answer will be 2 square root of 1 plus x cubed all over 3 plus the constant c. Another example, evaluate the indefinite integral of x all over square root of x squared minus 1 with respect to x. Let u be equal to x squared minus 1. Now, getting the derivative of u, du is equal to 2x dx. 
But however, notice that we have here x dx. And we have here 2x dx. So to solve for x dx, we will be dividing both sides by 2. Thus, we will get x dx is equal to 1 half du. From here, we can express our given as the indefinite integral of 1 over square root of x squared minus 1 times x dx. Notice that we have written x beside dx. Remember that this is u and this is 1 half du. So therefore, our given by substitution will become 1 over square root of u times 1 half du. From there, we can now apply the theorems of anti-differentiation. Since we have a constant 1 half here, it will become the multiplier of our indefinite integral. We will have 1 half times the indefinite integral of 1 over square root of u with respect to u. We can express 1 over square root of u in terms of u raised to negative 1 half. So then, we can now apply the theorem of anti-differentiation. Adding 1 on the exponent of u and dividing it by the resulting exponent, we will have 1 half times u raised to 1 half divided by 1 half plus the constant c. Multiplying 1 half and the reciprocal of 1 half, we will get 1 is square root of u plus c. Now remember that u is equal to x squared minus 1. Thus, our final answer will become square root of x squared minus 1 plus the constant c. For our last example, Evaluate the indefinite integral of dx over x cube root of ln x. Let u be equal to ln x. By rules of differentiation, remember that the derivative of ln x is equal to 1 over x dx. So therefore, since u is equal to ln x, thus du is equal to 1 over x dx. Looking at our given, we can actually express dx over x cube root of ln x into 1 over cube root of ln x times 1 over x dx. Remember that ln x will become u and 1 over x dx will become du. Therefore, by substitution, our given will be expressed as 1 over cube root of u du where u is equal to ln x and du is equal to 1 over x with respect to x. From here, we can now apply the theorems of anti-differentiation. Since we have 1 over cube root of u du, we can express this as u raised to negative one-third. And by applying the theorem of anti-differentiation, we will be adding 1 on this exponent and we will divide the term with the resulting exponent. Therefore, we will have u raised to two-thirds divided by two-thirds plus c. Getting the reciprocal of two-thirds, we will get three-halves times u raised to two-thirds plus c. But remember that u is equal to ln x. Therefore, the final answer will become three-halves times ln x raised to two-thirds plus the constant c. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, we will discuss about anti-differentiation by substitution of exponential and logarithmic functions. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.